Hello. Um, today's video I'm going to give you um, a general overview of the uh, Husqvarna Automobile 105 model. You'll see that it's only a, well, it's, I say a two-wheeler, it's a two main wheels like the other models. And around the back we've got a third smaller wheel, so basically a three-wheeler. Uh, navigates around the garden quite niftily and swiftly uh, as a result. Now, the uh, the menu system is is a lot different to the uh, uh, to the more advanced models. Um, this is a much more basic setup if it doesn't have a lot of the uh, the more detailed functions. But to be honest with you, uh, when I started it, I thought I was going to miss out by not having certain functions. But really, I, I haven't missed out on anything. I don't think um, it would be nice to have smart controls. Uh, you know, operate it via an app or something, uh, or at least see what it's up to. So, to get to the control panel, which is in here, you have to press this stop button. Uh, you lift the hatch up. Normally, it asks you to put your PIN number in uh, when you first open the hatch, but uh, I've, I've, I've just done that a minute ago. So, uh, we'll start over here. This is the height adjustment, um, and you rotate that to the height you want it. So, uh, we turn it clockwise, and we see that one is the minimum setting and we can go all the way up to to five by lots of twists um, I know the other models um, some of the more advanced have more of an electronic system so you can do it by pushing buttons and settings and there's no twisting um, no big deal um, you just can't operate this height adjustment without getting into the hatch or from an app I normally have it set between uh, two and one. You can actually feel like a 1.5 setting. It sort of st there we go. It stops. Um, I, I quite like I quite like that cut. Here's the menu system. Very simple. You got keypad. That's where you put in your uh, your pin number. Uh, we got a start button, uh, and these buttons correspond with what's on the screen at the moment. So, uh, and this is your home button uh, to start off. Um, the, the mower function. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So at the moment you can see that the uh, it's it's saying it's set to auto, it says the date and the time, also shows you how many hours it's been running uh, and the charge that it's got and the fact that a timer is set. The only function we've got at the moment you can see is menu and, and that's operated here by this button. So you press menu, uh, the backlit comes on and this is where these three buttons now change uh, and they correspond to what's on the screen. So if I wanted to go back, I'd press this button, select OK, it's this button, and uh, move through these different functions. It's this button, so we'll start with the timer, we press OK, and then we get, can we see that, we get the choice of two different working hours, the work days, and a choice to reset the timer. So we'll show you by pressing OK. We can see that my work hours are set for 10.20 to 1.15. Show that. Uh, and you can set another work hours later on in the day, for example, if you wanted to go out twice. And then you've got a choice of work days. You can go up and down through the list. See, that's going down. And any that you want, you could select to tick it. So if I wanted three days in a row, I'd tick it. And likewise, if you wanted to untick it, Just select it again and OK it. So mine's only set for Sunday at the moment. So now we can go back and back again. So now let's go and have a look and see what this one is. So this is the installation because you generally only do this once. And we've got a choice of guide width. Um, that's um, we'll go into that. That's how closely it follows the wire back to its base station, uh, and you can have it wide, medium or narrow, so um, it, it, it varies on, on how accurate it finds that guide wire to find it find it back. I find medium works absolutely fine and it follows it really tightly. Let's go back. Uh, remote start 1 and remote start 2. So that's for very, um, if you've got a connected garden but with sort of distance, distant bits. Uh, if you imagine like Mickey Mouse's head uh, and you've got one ear 
each of the ears are distant remote parts of the garden and you've got the main part of the garden so you'd set you'd want to do one ear one time uh, and, and another ear sort of 50 30 percent of the time and the main bit 60 percent of the time you can you can set that in here uh, you see and you tell it how often uh, and how far it is and, and how often you want to do that that separate part of the garden rather than the main part uh, that's remote start too that's if you've got um, test settings is literally just going through um, going in and out of the charging dock station simple as that that's all it tests that the uh, that the cable is running okay so have we got anything more in there Oh, drive past wire. This is one of the most important settings in here. It's one that a lot of us have fiddled with to get it just right. Um, you can... It, it's the amount that it goes over the cable that you've got around your garden. Um, uh, and if you've got flower beds that you're finding it's falling into, uh, then you need to obviously reduce the amount that it drops over. If you've got, um, like I have, if you can see... Um, my garden is right up on the patio. So my wire is literally where the patio meets the uh, meets the grass so th there's no gap so I can have that run all the way over and I never have to trim the edges um, so as you can see mine's going over the maximum but you can you can reduce that down to uh, I think it's between 20 and 30 it can go over the wire so I could have it like a 22 if I wanted to um, but I have it set to the maximum myself but that's that's one of the most important settings. It's one you'll probably play around with the most. Okay, we'll go back. Um, so there's the security, and that's just where you set your pin. I'm not going to show you my pin, but uh, I shall put it in. That's just using the keypad, and then when you put it in, you press OK. And there we can change the security level, pin code, new loop signal. Uh, the security level is quite good because that's the um, the met the uh, the alarm. So low, the alarm never goes off. Um, medium, uh, I think the alarm goes off if it's picked up, and high, it uh, it goes off if you um, no. Medium is if if you can't use this this function without putting the pin number in um, so an alarm and sound after a certain amount of time if you haven't put the pin code in and high uh, if anyone picks it up the alarm will go off if anyone tries to stop it and access the control panel the alarm will go off if someone tries to turn it off the alarm will go off so you know why why wouldn't you have it set to high but there are other settings if you want them uh, new loop signal sometimes um, you 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 lose the, the signal so you need to reset the whole setup and, and the mower needs to to uh, recognize the signal that it's got so um, it's it's a you, you can reset it also that the mower matches the the, the loop signal that the uh, that the base station is giving out that's them all um, and then we've got eco mode which uh, reduces the amount of power that the uh, the wire um, gives out so if, if as and when it's docked there's no power being used time and date language country will speak for itself really um, and then reset just reset the whole mower which I don't want to do so when I've set it I can press this button here and I've got the option of going sending the mower home sending it on auto which will start its timer going. Um, so if it's not set to mow at that particular time, it'll go back to its home. And manual, which means it'll just go around the garden until the battery runs out, it won't try and dock or anything like that. And that's the setting I use for my front garden, uh, which is completely disconnected from the back garden. Um, so that the, uh, the mower could just work out there uh, until its battery dies and try to dock. Uh, but on auto, it'll dock when it's finished in the back garden. Um, and that's the setting I've got it on now because it's in the back garden uh, and uh, and I want it to mow tomorrow morning. So when you've changed it, so let's say well, I'm going to put it on to um, home. Let's, let's uh, yeah, we'll put it onto oh, manual, uh, onto automatic. So it's going to go home in a minute. Um, so I'm going to press OK and then it tells me to press start and then it tells me 
when it's set to go. So if I then close the hatch, it should make its way home because it's not set. There you go, it's found the guide wire. It's not set to cut till tomorrow. way home. Until tomorrow. Thank you for watching.